Hi folks, this is Big Daddy Rich here with the WBDR. And ladies and gentlemen, I was at a travel basketball uh, game the other day and a uh, bunch of different teams playing and I'm kind of an observer. You know, it was the game before us and I was kindly watching two teams out there and one team's obviously winning, the other team is obviously gonna lose, okay? And it's plain and simple. But as I'm as I'm observing everything, I kind of notice a little altercation over here to the right, okay? And uh, I kind of ease my gaze over there because what it is, it's a referee and a mother. And uh, and I start kind of trying to really hone in on what they're saying. And, I, and I'm hearing the mother saying, I saw you laughing at my child. I know you was laughing at my child. I saw you laughing at my child. You laughing at my child. I don't like you laughing at my child. Okay, and the referee's like, ma'am, it was a little time out there. He's like, ma'am, I, I wasn't laughing at your child. Please don't think I was laughing at your child. I was laughing at my buddy over there. He made a he made an incorrect call, and I, we were giving each other a hard time. That's what I was laughing at. I don't even want to hear it. I don't even want to hear it. I know what you're saying. I, I don't even want to hear it. I don't even want to hear it. I know what you do. You laughing at my child. You laughing at my child. I don't like you laughing at my child. You need to worry about Reffing the game and quit worried about laughing and cheering. And then here comes Auntie. My Auntie comes in right there to help out. And she comes in and says, No, 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 no. You just need to go on over there because I know what you're doing. You laughing at our cheering. Don't be laughing at our cheering. Okay? And they're getting real fired up and worked up over there. And they just ain't going to hear nothing this guy's got to say. If he was smart, he just need to move on. You know, and he kind of did. He kind of moved on and went on, knew that, you know, they just going to rant. But but as I'm watching here, I, I, I really, now I'm kind of, right, this is where the action is. You know what I mean? I'm kind of, and I watch as she casts her gaze. She's talking to a child and her children, her child is Jalen. Okay. And Jalen is, is out there playing and he's an athletic kid. He's really athletic. He's out there. He's he got good, he's got good handles. He's, he's got a good little shot on him and everything, but, but he's, he's got a problem here because he, he, he'll he walk and the referee blow the whistle on him and call walk because that's illegal. You can't take three steps without dribbling. That's that's something we can't do in basketball. So when he blows it on, oh, oh Jalen, he likes to throw that ball down and he likes to stare at that referee like this. And then he moses on down the court, you know, so that's not really, that's not really a good trait to start picking up, you know. Well, as I, as I keep watching, he goes down there and shoots and, and, uh, and the referee don't blow the whistle on no kind of foul or anything. And he misses a shot. And he said, that's a foul. All right. Now this is, this is a nine year old kid. This referee ain't a teenager. He, he's 50 years old. Okay. And, and you let, this is a nine year old. And, and, and when that happens, you know, I'm thinking to myself, if that was my kid, I, I'm on DHR and take me to jail. <laughs> so I kind of, I whip over here to mama and I see mama and auntie over there and auntie said, <laughs> girl, girl, did you see Jalen? Boy, he mad. Look at him. He mad, boy. Girl, she mad. Jalen mad. He mad. <laughs> girl. Well, see, that's good. That's funny. And right now, because see, because Jalen's nine, it is funny. And then Jalen's going to be 10. And then Jalen's going to be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. What's going to happen? It's going to go from being a referee. It's going to go to being a teacher. And then it's going to go to being a law enforcement officer. And then when that's a law enforcement officer, what we're going to do is, <laughs> God, Jalen, I got to throw the jail again. <laughs> Shoot, girl. He down there. He bigger. Yeah, he got to stay in there for 90 days. Yeah, that's so. And see, it's not going to be quite as funny then. But now it's too late because we had to talk Jalen how to respect authority. And that's the problem. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't care what your situation is. You may be a single mother. You may, you may, I don't know what your situation is, but there's one thing I do know. You could teach your kid to respect authority. If they make him bad calls, who cares? He's going to respect authority because when he gets older, he's going to have to learn if he's going to, if he's going to live in this society, he's going to have to respect some kind of authority. All right, and we got to quit. And it goes back to the NBA. They sit at home, they watch NBA. They watch old Lebron James get out there and throw his hands up and argue with the referees and all these grown men that, that, that cannot accept the fact that they got called for a foul or a walk and they act like a bunch of idiots out there. I'm sick of it, man. Teach your kids. And the coach, hey, if I'm a coach, I don't care nothing about what the mother has to say, but I know for a fact that's why that coach ain't saying nothing to that kid because he know mama gonna come over and say, uh-uh, mm -mm, I know you didn't just, I know you just didn't do that to my child. You ain't gonna put my child on no bench. You ain't gonna put my child on no bench. And I know that's what he don't wanna deal with. 
See, and but me, I don't care. I deal with it. If a kid's gonna disrespect authority, you gonna be a coach. You gotta be a leader in his life. You gotta, you gotta try to prepare him for this world. So somebody that's gonna succeed in society out there. And if you do, if he does, if one of my kids done that, boom, hey, hey, hoss. You sit down right there and enjoy the rest of the game because you're going to get to watch, okay? And, and, and that's how I – and then we're going to run some suicides. I may make them – I may call time out in the whole minute, have him run suicides if you're going to back talk authority. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to – hey, we got to nip it in the bud. We, get, we can't have disrespectful children out there. We got to teach our children how to, how to be respectful all the way around the board. But <clears throat> other than that – that's pretty little old game, pretty little old game, you know. We went out there, we got we got our eyes beat out. That's all right. But uh, that's all I got to say. Uh, I love you. Thanks for watching WBDR. God bless you.